In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic path analysis in Smart PLS. So, assuming you already have a project set up, and that project has some data that is already validated, then we can just start building the model. You'll see here a bunch of variables and a blank canvas. To start, you need to have the insertion tool selected, and just start clicking. Click and click and click and click. There we go four variables is probably good enough. Then I would go back to the arrow tool and let's name some of these. Let's have our dependent variable be, let's see, right click, rename. Let's have it be satisfaction with work. Let's have our mediator here. I hit F2 after clicking on it. The burnout from management. Let's have this variable be um, ethical concerns. And let's have this one be unsupportive boss. Unsup boss. And then you just need to drag the indicators in there. So here's burnout for management. BM. Just drag those in. Let's see ethical concerns. EC. Highlight them, drag them in. Unsupportive boss is UB. And then satisfaction with work, SW. There we go. Now, I would like to move things around a bit. I'd like to realign these on the top, align these on the right. And then we're set to draw some lines, connect them. To do that, you need to select the connection tool. And you're going to click and click, not drag. It's click and click, click and click. Oh, it's all blue. That means every construct is um, involved in some relationship. That means it's runnable. I'd like to do a couple more, though. There we go. And then you can just go ahead and run it. We're going to run it with the PLS ag algorithm. There we go, just hit finish. And you'll see some values pop up. These values right here, these are standardized regression weights or the effect. And these values right here are the factor loadings. The values inside the circle are the R squareds, the percent of variance explained by the uh, explanatory variables. So, for example, in Satisfaction with Work, we are explaining 58% of the variance. And that's how you run a basic model. Now, how do you know if these regression weights are actually significant? Well, they look good. 0.4, that looks pretty good. But in order to determine uh, for sure whether they're significant, you need to do a bootstrap. The default values are fine. Hit Finish runs the bootstrap and now instead of regression weights or um, these loadings we see t-statistics. t-statistics are an indication of significance. Anything above 1.96 is significant at the 0.05 level or 95% confidence level. So it looks like all of these are significant and the strongest is this one right here, ethical concerns effect on burnout. Looks like the more ethical concerns you have the higher your burnout. The higher your burnout, the uh, well, it affects your satisfaction with work. If we go back to the PLS run, we can see that that was a negative effect. There it is, negative 0.42. And there you have it. That's how you run a simple path analysis in Smart PLS.